So this is going to be Charlotte's four month update. I'm going to film it right now because she's taking a nap because, you know, uh, she's traumatized from those shots. But anyway, I wrote some stuff down. So let's see. She just had her appointment today. Her four month appointment was today. She was 18 pounds. So gigantic. And she's 26.3 inches long. So both for height and weight, she's in the 99th percentile. Uh, so she's, she just like waved at me in her sleep. Um, so she's big, but proportionally big. She's not like super chunky, but short. She's tall and she's heavy because she's tall. And yes, <laughs> she's like making noise now. Um, she is sleeping at night still. She has been sleeping at night for a while, with the exception of like a couple times where she's woken up in the night. Um, she pretty much sleeps through the night. She goes to bed around 10, typically. And then she'll wake up around 7.30, which is awesome. She's wonderful. Uh, and she only takes one nap during the day most of the time. She'll take a nap, like a two hour nap from one to three. And then sometimes when she's eating, she'll fall asleep, but not enough for me to like put her down and for her to take a nap. She'll just wake up if I try to put her down. Um, so one nap a day and she sleeps all night and that's totally fine with me. Um, she just started rolling over this week. Uh, she had been trying to for not that long before she actually got it, maybe like five to seven days before she actually finally rolled over. She was uh, moving and like getting onto her side but couldn't quite swing it all the way over. And then this past week, she just figured out how to get from her back to her stomach. Only one way. She only rolls one way. But now she rolls because I'm in the shower and I put her on her back and then I'll peek out and she's on her stomach. So she cannot be left alone anymore. Uh, she laughs all the time. Like deep belly laughing. Deep belly baby laughing. And it's hilarious. <laughs> she's super cute. Um, what else? She got her first cold a couple weeks ago, which took like 10 to 11 days to clear up. That was fun. She was sleeping in her swing at night because she couldn't lay down, because she couldn't breathe. And I was sleeping on the couch for like, I think four days I slept on the couch and she slept in her swing. So that was great. But now I think she has, she might have a little bit of a cold now, maybe beginning allergies if that's even possible um but if she has a little bit of a cold now her nose is a little bit stuffy but it's not anywhere near what it was a couple weeks ago when she was sick for the first time because that was that was bad um we got her a bouncer so like an exosaucer minus the bottom bowl part so her feet are on the ground uh, and she loves it. She doesn't know how to like spin in the seat yet, but she bounces all around and she touches everything and she figures out that everything moves and she loves it way more than obviously sitting in her swing, which I don't want her to do all the time that she's awake. I'm not going to just like put her in her swing. So, uh, the bouncer gives her something to do, which is really nice. Uh, she sat in her stroller for the first time yesterday on our walk because now she can sit up without falling down. So we have it like all the way reclined and we just strapped her into the actual stroller part and she seemed to like it. She loves being outside. So she could like see out and she was going the right direction. She wasn't going backwards like she usually is and she could see a lot more. So she seemed to have a good time and she fell asleep. So <laughs> there you go. <sighs> she will probably have to get a new car seat sooner rather than later just because she's getting so tall. The weight limit on our car seat, we just have like a regular infant car seat, is 30 pounds. So she's, I mean, she's getting there, but she won't get there super soon. But the height limit is only 30 inches, and right now she's over 26. So I have a feeling she'll get to the height limit before she gets to the weight limit. So we're going to have to get a new car seat. I thought I'd infant car seat for her, even though she's only four months old. We're going to have to start looking into it because she's just growing so fast. Um, so that's all with her. As for me, I've obviously been getting more sleep because she's been sleeping, which has been great. Although she's a very loud sleeper. So if she makes like any noise in the night, that's not, that's more than just her like moving around. If she starts to make like audible noise, I'll wake up. So that's not ideal, but I'm sleeping obviously way more than I was when I was waking up every two hours to feed her. And... I'm officially right back down to 
the vicinity of my pre-baby weight, which is awesome. I mean, it only took four months, and the first two months weren't me trying to lose the weight. So I'm back down to pre-baby weight, which is awesome. That was a little bit nervous because I gained a bunch of weight when I was pregnant with her. So that's great, and I'm <laughs> excited about that. But yeah, that's all that's new with her. She's doing wonderful. Um, just growing like a weed, and I'm gonna start eating food soon-ish. Definitely two months from now, maybe a little bit early. She's just she's when we eat, she stares at us and just goes like, like I want to eat your food. So <laughs> we'll see, maybe like five and a half months how she's doing. But that is everything here and she's great and we're doing great and yeah so that's it for her update bye